Welcome back everyone to Kaiser Redux, I'm your host Mr. Mark Oliver, and right now we need to talk about the 1944 Republican Convention. As big president, Howard Hughes' second term is coming to an end and thus unable to run again. As according to the democratic tradition of America, the Republican Party must not choose whom shall succeed him. Will it be Arthur B. Langley, Douglas McKay, or Fletcher Bowron? Um, I don't think there's any law saying, at least in this timeline, where you cannot, you know, continue with a third term. I mean, FDR did it in our time. And that rule was only established after he was gone, but why can't we continue with Daddy Hughes? Uh, let me, I have no idea who these people are. Fletcher seems okay. Bowren. Uh, Langy. Can you imagine President Langley? President McKay. We had President McKinley. Bowren. I think, let's go with McKay because it's close to McKinley. That's, that's how I decide our presidents here. But the Democratic Convention. The Democratic Party has two candidates this time to be their presidential nominee in 44. Daniel I.J. Thornton and Burke B. Hickenlooper. Who shall be nominee for the Democratic Party? Hickenlooper. Sounds familiar, but... President Thornton. President Hickenlooper. President T.T. President H.L. I kind of prefer T.T. Thornton, so I'll go with that one. That's how we decide our presidential, presidential names and how we select people here. At least how I select who to vote for. What's their name like? Can we make fun of the last name? That's the most important thing to question. But apparently we have sunk 21 Japanese uh, convoys. Very good. Um, as you can see, we are now in 1944. Um, I need to catch you guys up to speed, though. So I've been playing this for a while, and apparently Russia joined the Entente. So which made things actually much easier. Now, I guess the Raj one down here. And we can move all soldiers all the way from Burma. All the way here, because now the Third International is dead. Russia kept ramming its fat fist into the Communards. And as you can see... I didn't do jack squat here, and I basically already did the peace deal. I did take Norway just because I wanted some territory too, and I thought we could get some, so. But yeah, Canada now has the British Isles. Italy, I gave them southern Germany and Austria because I thought that would be fitting. And Slovenia looks like we own them, but we don't. Um, yeah, so basically most of the territory has already been done here. I guess Poland is, well, I guess fighting everyone else, but... Yeah, I mean, not really much happened. I mean, I just let Russia just fist the commies so hard, which sounds really weird when you say it like that, but you know what I mean. Probably. Anyways, um, we've just been trying to do island invasions. That's pretty much it. And as you can tell from the title, this is the last episode because there's not really a whole lot left here in the campaign. Sure, we do have some things we could talk about, or, you know, focuses we could talk about. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. And our fleet is looking okay. Not great. We have three carriers here, we got three carriers here, three carriers, and, uh, two carriers, which is not great, but... I like more carriers, but you know what? We're doing the best we possibly can right now. Just because the Japanese still pretty darn strong. They've taken 2 million losses in total, mostly to the Chinese. Oh no, to the Russians. We've only killed off 183,000 of them. And let's take a look at their surface fleet real quick. We've lost quite a few guys. They have up to 56,000 manpower left. 309 convoys, some oil still. And they have 105 ships, so they're actually still very strong. I did sink one of the fleet's uh, carriers off screen, which is really nice, actually. Why is it lagging so hard? Ah, you know why? It's because the game is, or the our allies are releasing puppets, so... That is why it's liking super, super hard, as we're trying to get more and more cruisers. Because we could really use some cruisers here. Ah, I got a lot of black, but we just some comments to go through. Such as, can I do a naval guide for Kaiserreich? Well, oh, that's okay, a little Italy, that's weird. Um, a, Ka a Kaiserreich naval guide? I think just maybe just doing a naval guide just period would be probably the best thing. I'll be honest, I don't know the naval meta 100%, but I know it more than enough that whatever I use almost always works. And one of the strategies is always research naval doctrines. <laughs> or just death stack. That's pretty much kind of the ways we... Or just I've learned how to do it, but... Um, sometimes that would be actually probably be really good. i would actually make it a really short video on how to do that. Like, just really, really quick things. Actually, we need to come over here too as well. So we can actually invade down there too. Thank you very much. Our guys are pretty much good to go, but we don't have naval supremacy yet, I don't think. Oh, we're still preparing. Oh, that's fine. Cool. Hopefully we make it over there. And hopefully we don't have too many issues. Let's spend... Wow! 1944, and the Kingdom of Spain has emerged triumphant. It only took them until 1944. Wow. Uh, let's see. And, well, Spain's here. Led by Miguel. All right. Miguel looks like he's really seen some stuff. And let's talk about spies, because someone else said in the comments below, from the last video, that we have someone here. Actually, wait, huh? Or we, at least we did have someone here. I think I killed her off by accident. But we had someone named Iva Toguri. Who was actually part? Who was Tokyo Rose, uh, a pro radio propaganda speaker? Apparently, I killed her off. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh well, she's dead now. Um, but yeah, I had someone like that. Cool. But yeah, about about that naval guide, like, yeah, I I really love the naval stuff here. So maybe I should make two guides then. One where it's like really simple, really quick, 
and to a quick understanding of how the naval meta or just naval meta works in general in Hearts of Iron 4, and one where I get really in depth in the battle take years for me to do, or quite a few months for me to really study up on the naval stuff, so I can actually probably, probably make a short video on that. But time is of the essence, and I don't have a lot of time. Poland is gone, taken up by the Russians, of course, and triumph of the French exiles. Finally, it's over. And they're trying to shoot down our planes, probably, as we're trying to get, uh, is this Iwo Jiwa? No. Ryuku Islands? Yeah. Ryuku Islands. Hey, we landed. Nice. Very nice. Head on up here, because we're invading the other islands so we can get some, uh, planes. And we're going to start bombing the crap out of the Japanese, advanced heavy holes. Yes, for the love of God. And also, we do need to research some more of our tactical bombers. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, how do we get heavy ships? We didn't... None of these guys are done. Oh. Oh, that's because we stole naval blueprints. That's why. I almost never do stuff like this. But hey, maybe we'll do it again. That, I didn't realize you could actually get blueprints. Man, it's been so long since I've seen something like that. It's been like at least Hearts of Iron... Not Hearts of Iron. It was Darkest Hour Hearts of Iron game where you can actually steal blueprints to help your research. I've not seen something like that in such a long time. Holy smoky days. As you can tell, I, we're, we're trying to build carriers out the booty hole. Like, I literally have like at least 15 carriers here. Ready to be made. Like, the American war economy is just, like, churning out ships like crazy right now. Even though it could always use more uh, destroyers as well, so. Good, good, good. Oh, there goes Bulgaria. Goodbye. They took... Oh, yeah, they took some stuff too. Huh? Alright, well, whatever. And a little bit of lag. Not bad. Oh, we're heading up to Kagoshima? No. This is the area we want. Hey, we landed. Keep, just keep one guy there and just like in circle and do that stuff. There you go. Cool. And we landed as well. Great job, guys. Great job. Now that we've taken the air base, let's go and max that little sucker out and get actually get a lot of radar. Radar just it can help you with your naval efficiency. So that's why I do it. Uh, there you go. Cool. Planes, planes, planes. There's only 600, which is actually not too bad. That's better than I thought it would be. Uh, fighter ones will upgrade to fighter twos eventually and get some naval bombers, maybe. Naval bombers, yes. Duplicate them. Uh, naval bombers, give it a day. Maybe we can throw some more naval bombers in there very soon. There you go. See? Not bad. Future the AFP. Cool. If you want to reread re about that, please go right ahead. So, we still have to do stuff down here, such as Reconstruction Finance Corporation. Amongst one of the many of Hoover's unrecognized contributions to the nation include the RFC, which would give loans to banks and other sectors that did not qualify the for the Federal Reserve. So long as its powers are limited and it's better and is better funded, it would aid our efforts. Also, I did annex Mexico, so I just want you to know that as well. I did annex Mexico because America with Mexico sounds pretty good to me. And like I said, we definitely need to improve our naval bombers here. They're really bad. Uh, they're so, so bad. Cool, landing craft is nice. Let's max out our landing craft. Cool, cool, cool. You're doing a great job, guys. We actually landed here successfully as well. Nice. Oh, uh, who's justifying? Italian Federation. Uh, actually, these guys are against Deutsch, Ostasian, and Colombia. I'm not really interested in doing that. We actually launched from several Deutsch, Ostasian ports and such, so I don't want to really do that. Oh, fate of Norway. Um, honestly? Oh, the Ching is here too. Like, they're doing really, actually, quite well. Oh, UK popped out too. Cool. Uh, no, we closed that one out. That's fine. Canada doesn't exist. Oh, we're the German Republic. Look at that. Huh. Yay, the British Empire has returned. So we have the Rhenish Republic. We've got the uh, German Republic, which is not too bad, actually. Which, they have genetic focus tree. And then Southern Republic. Uprist. Southern Republic, no. Southern German, South German Federation. We have the good old Albert the First, and they have a lot of syndicates up there. And then you guys have Albert the First. That... There's too many countries for Albert first. Wow, Serbia's looking. What the heck happened here? Hold on. Oh, I can't use Station Tumor. That looks so disgusting. Why did Canada get that? Why is Croatia so long? <laughs> He's so long and lanky. Like Lanky Kong. And Romania got a lot of territory over here. Um, Polish Republic. Not too bad, actually. Oh, that's a really nice. Georgia. Azerbaijan is... That's a huge Azerbaijan. Wow. That's kind of cool. And the Ottoman Empire. Not much else has really happened, I think. Yeah. Also, yeah, the Copa Spirit Sphere. They gotta be dying right now. They gotta be straight up dying. Do some convoy escorting. Oh, no, why don't you guys do that? They, you guys do this. Help escort some convoys for now. We actually should have quite a bit of supremacy here. Especially if they don't have a lot of planes. Oh, anything here? Please? Please? 
Battle of Naha. Oh, and there goes Deutsch Ostasian. Oh, crap. These flipped to the Japanese. Oh, well, that's not good. That's really not good. Nice. Some destroyers. Ace pilot promoted. Very good. I think the Australians will probably have that figured out with the Australasians. Um, you know what? Do this. See what you can do about that. Especially with uh, air superiority over here. Like, this would really help us out. Oh, did we lose something here? Oh, we'll also plan. That's fine. Sunk three more Japanese convoys. We're going to sink a lot of convoys. And Norway. Uh, honestly? The Norwegian army is surrendered. And we've only... And we completely capitulated the Norwegian government. Our new flag waves over the former capital building in Oslo as our main military campaign comes to an end. Now we begin a campaign to destroy the Norwegian partisans, but perhaps enlisting Norwegian sympathizers to form a government would aid us. I really only I want to do that one, but we already took over Mexico, so we can liberate them. They're under our administration. And bingo, bongo, bingo. Cool. Support the British if we have to. The UK is dealing with enormous amounts of devastation left by the war. We should send them as much aid as we can afford. Uh, we can afford more? Pretty much. Yeah, that's fine with us. Work with the British allies? Yep, pretty much. And get basically 25 more political power out of that. Not bad. Who is... Oh, it must be like legation cities or something? Ah, it is legation cities. Look at that. We're fighting them too. The bunch of national populace they are. They have no manpower, which is good to see. Oh, did we lose something here? Some planes? Ah, the fleet's still out here. Ah, that's not good. Their fleet is still pretty darn strong, like, as I showed you, yeah, they're, they're pretty darn strong. Um... Can I actually start bombing them, maybe, a little bit? Some radar, some dockyards, some naval bases. Obviously, we can't get do all this stuff, that's alright. That's fine. Really focus on killing them. Oh, crap, oh, crap, our fleet's, our fleet's engaged. Oh, we do have some of the Canadians here, maybe? No, some Australasians. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey, we sunk two of the fleets. Oh, the, two of the carriers. Oh, this is good. This is good. Oh, sink them, sink them, sink them, sink them. Oh my goodness. This is what you get, Japan, for destroying so many of our ships last episode. Oh, we lost a destroyer. That's fine. Destroyers are cheap. Come on. Oh, we did it, my friends. We only lost one destroyer and like a couple planes versus two carriers, an armored cruiser. Two battleships, three cruisers, one escort cruiser, and three destroyers and a couple more planes as well. Beautiful. And we have another carrier here too. Nice. We see, well, actually, we need more carrier planes. Look at that. That is weird to see. Um, We need to share the wealth. Share the wealth. Share the wealth. And we've got fighter planes, carrier casts, which we're not using too much of, and a lot of this too. There you go. Now, that should really help us out pretty much everywhere. We need a little bit more rubber, though. It's fine, America. We can afford this. That is good, good, good. Oh, they still want to come out, huh? You can suck on our naval bombers. Oh, we sunk a dreadnought. Oh, that was so nice. I should have not clicked on that so fast. What's over here? Two destroyers. Good. Convoy's good. Oh, hey, we single battleship. Look at that. Nice. Oh, we lost four bombers. That's all right. That's where they went to go repair. Okay. Because we do have a lot of bombers still in, in all these areas. Patrolling. Ah, uh, Legation City's good. Good, good. Three more convoys. Three more convoys. Two destroyers. Nice. We're at over 200,000 Japanese losses. Not enough. You must have learned more, Nimitz. But I'm disappointed that you're not an Ironside expert yet, or whatever, but still. I guess you need battleships for that, but whatever. Alright, escort cruiser was sunk. Sunk some more convoys. Very, very good. There's a few planes here and there, but as they're trying to repair it, we could probably still sink them quite a bit. Uh, that's not good to have down there, too. Um, yeah, that's not great. Plane-wise, how are we doing down here? Five groups are okay. Patrol bombers. Well, we really don't have any more naval bombers. Okay. We need some more naval bombers. Naval bombers? Do we have any? Yeah, they're right here. Okay. Um. There you go. We got more than enough stuff for that. There you go. Good. Keep thinking them. Oh, King Albert towards the US of A. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Welcome, His Majesty. 
Oh, what's going on, what's going on over here? Oh, cruiser. Oh, that sucks. All right, let's go and start setting up another naval invasion. All right, and this one we're gonna have to go for Nagasaki. What do we need nukes? That'd be really helpful, actually. Six divisions. Send half you guys actually from here instead to invade right there. Oh, now you guys are actually going there. Okay, that's fine. One, two, three. And then you guys come from here and invade over to there. Fukuoka? And then one, two, three. Uh, well, since we're doing this side anyways, you can probably come up here and do that and be okay. Uh, Kokura? Oh, maybe not Kokura then. That one might not be bad either. Mm, that might be okay for now. We'll see. I lost a plane. Oh, modern cruisers are nice. Don't really need them too much. Advanced heavy hulls, modern cruisers, advanced cruisers. We do have more than enough naval XP for anything here. Let's do this radar stuff. I love it. Secondary batteries, level four armor. Um, I don't. I don't work on the other stuff yet. Level three anti-air. Go light escort cruiser batteries because I don't want any more capital ships here to slow us down. Uh, get some of this. You guys, let's go with this. Anti-sub stuff is totally fine with me, as well as... We have some more anti-sub stuff. Lots and lots of anti-sub stuff. Of level 3, now we go 4. Now that's even faster, that's good. That's nice stuff. I kind of doubt we'll be able to make it, but, you know, we'll see. Oh, and we have another focus. Alright. There's a lot of... There's a, just tons of focuses here. The Arsenal of Democracy. A good neighbor policy necessitates an internal program to ready arms for future conflicts. This Arsenal of Democracy is a present causal. This will enable us to supply war material to even the hardest to reach places on other continents in service of fighting tyranny and syndicalism. More mobilization speed, more war support. Oh, okay then. Hmm, heavy holes. We could do that. Subbies. I love subbies. Subbies and chubbies. Isaac Lewis, John Sims. Ashley Gordon. Uh, uh, let's do Ashley. Ashley looking a little scary, but that's alright. Hey, you sunk an armor cruiser? Nice. Two more ships. Two more stores. There we go. Oh, we actually lost a uh, plane there, huh? Oh, no. Don't, don't worry about doing that. Like, That's fine. Alright, lost probably a plane or two. We sunk another cruiser, which is actually really good, too. The Philippines still exist here, but that's alright. Really, I think it's only Japan that we need to get rid of. Finland declared war on Russia. I'm not really worried about that. The Mongolians have lost a lot of guys, which is fine with us. <sighs> 240,000 Japanese have died at our hands, which is totally fine with us, Arenos. Alright. You guys keep it up, too. Nope, we're okay for now. Oh, look at that. Oh, we lost something. It's alright. It's all good. With these naval bombers... With these, actually, tactical bombers. Hopefully we can blow the crap out of these enemies. All right, naval bombers are doing okay as well. It just it just helps out with radar. Like much more range is so beneficial. And the next level radar will be done soon. All right, not bad. Rebuild Puerto Rico. I don't think we own Puerto Rico again yet. Let's we'll see. Uh, keep keep in them. We sunk another armor cruiser. We lost a couple planes here. A little planes. Sunk a battleship and a destroyer. Slowly weakening the Japanese navy because we can. You know what? I I just thought of this, but like. Whenever the next DLC comes out at the time of this recording for Hearts of Iron 4, such as, what's it, No Step Back, I think it was called? I think I'll play as America again. Democratic America, just to do naval stuff and see what it's like. I don't think there's going to be any change. But I will be playing that DLC a whole bunch, just because all the mods will be broken. So going back and playing as America will be probably really good. I'll play Germany at least once. I'll probably do Soviet Union probably two, if not three times, and then Poland maybe at least once. Maybe we'll see. Oh, hey, look, the fleet's here. Sink him, sink, 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 die, you Japanese dogs. <laughs> For the last episode, all those ships I lost. <gasps> yes, yes, the pride of the fleet. We got the pride of the fleet. That was a converted battleship hole. Yeah, they get, you really got to protect those things. Kiris are so weak, but they can be so strong. They're just massive glass cannons. We just destroyed another battleship down there, too. What's that naval uh, stuff like? Hey, 58 ships, not bad. Not too bad. Now they have one carrier left. Five battleships, four armored cruisers, three dreadnoughts, so not too bad. Let's see if we can go on in. Oh, some of the divisions aren't even here yet? Guys, what are you doing? You're shipping all the way out? Fine, so be it. We'll read the next focus. The Western Empire? We have of our opening into the vast resources of South America that the Iberians once believed belonged to them. We cannot allow the various radicals to consolidate in the region, nor for the governments to grow too powerful when the resources are absolutely necessary to American power and the location to American security. 
That is weird to see. The back door of America shall, not, shall at long last be secured. Why are the Ottomans going to war with the Italians? Another armored cruiser, nice. Anything there? Anything here? Oh, yes, convoys. You know, that's why I'm kind of okay with the Japanese still owning some islands. We can bait and attack their look, transports and uh, just ships in general. That's why I kind of don't mind them having some territory down there. And now we're done with their air doctrine, which is great. And we're not done with our land doctrine. I mean, or naval doctrine. That's not land. That's usually not land. Columbia's gone because I didn't want to get involved. <laughs> All right. And Manchuria's done. Arsenal democracy is done. Cool, cool, cool. The Western Empire, and finally, on the beaches, would probably be good to do instead, but... Oh, well. We can embargo Japan. Ja Tokyo talks. Our enemy enemies must fear American soldiers landing on the shores, and to that end, we must work to ensure that we they we have, we have the skill and power to take advantage of a longer march, or longer reach. That's pretty good. More manpower, a little more war support, even though we really don't need any more war support. We're stuck at 85%. I thought it was supposed to go up by 0.8 every single time, but of course we're at war, which doesn't help. Yeah, just keep sinking everything they got. I mean, it's really cheap to make convoys, but how many more do they have? 56 ships. 50... 45 convoys left. Cyprus was annexed. Okay, do I Cyprus? Just... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 28 convoys left. Oh, more ships go bye-bye. It's fine with us. 25. And once... Once they run out of convoys... The, the Their war on the continent of Asia will stop, pretty much, and they won't be able to import any more fuel. Alright, you know what, we could try it. But our divisions still aren't there yet. God dang it, you piece of the garbage. Why are you taking so long to move? I don't know where that boys came from. Oh, well. And this is that one. I want to wait till they get full organization. Actually, that gives us time to do this, too. How many do we have? Cut you guys down in half. There you go. Even more bombers. Agent killed. Well, Nancy Wake died. Goodbye, Nancy. Sorry about that. Anything else here? Advanced carrier hold twos. Um, let's grab some more of these guys. There you go. Not bad. Look at all them carriers we're trying to make. Convoys are coming along as well, which is nice. We could use a little more rubber and chromium. Oh, a little bit of lag. What's going on? Uh oh, oh, Finland's gone. Okay. Swedish state was annexed. I don't really care. And they'll probably be released right now. Of course, Germany did collapse. And apparently they're not going back into what once used to be Germany. A little bit of lag. And here we will grow. Let's grow. You and me, let's grow. All right. Let's grow in. Uh, what do you want, guys? A lot of allies, my clique. I mean, I don't care. Sure, why not? Let's see what we can do. Let's go. Besides lag. Yeah, America's definitely nerfed after the Civil War, trying to do all this naval stuff. Because your navy just gets split into, like, four different groups, and it's not super easy. Vanilla Hoi 4, like, it's super easy to win. Uh, generally, usually, pretty easy to win as America. Not always, but it's usually pretty easy. It's not too bad. Especially if you know what you're doing. Cool. And Nagasaki... Oh, I deck investments. Um, get another naval thingy, my blob. Nagasaki, they got one division there. We've landed already. Let's go ahead and beat the crap out of them. We don't have to nuke them this time. Maybe next time. Advanced subs, no thank you. And we've landed. Great, great, great. Let the, let the other guys land. There you go. And then we're going to just do a general attack. It's over. The war's pretty much over my mind right now, so... Alright, and head on up to here. Support all. Thank you. Send the tanks that I've not really worked on at all or really used much since the Civil War, but whatever. Hey, second. That's not. Those aren't screens, but okay. We're okay with that. Hey, the Canadians arrived. Or the. The Raj Authority. No, the, yeah, the Raj Authority arrived. Nice. This. Is it? it? Italy, yeah. Okay. Italy's special. Italy's very special. Go, go. Oh, Eric and Panama. If you want to read about that, please guard ahead. Western Empire and on the beach. Um, convoys. Shippies. Screw it, that looks really good enough for me, so. There you go. See what you can do. But please, tankies, get over here.
Keep going, keep going. Oh, hey, a little bit of a fleet there still. It's not too bad. Oh, I gotta ship them all the way over from the other part of the world. Okay, then. Okay, so at this point, Japan naturally doesn't make a lot of fuel. They still have quite a bit. Their navy isn't super great. It's still not anything to dismiss, really. But, and this is a huge but. We're going to completely blockade them. Take that one off, take that one off, too. Focus all your energies up here in the north. Alright, another person. Shirley Brown. Sure, why not? Coming around him. Nice. Alexander Patch. How many divisions I've left? Up to 86. They're probably all in Asia, actually. There we go. Cool. Oh boy, look at that. Hey, two planes for a task force. Nice. Completely blockaded. 100%. The Raj is down here too, which is pretty cool to see. And Alexander Patch is doing quite well. Not bad. We're building so many. Look at those. I didn't realize we were building that many doctors. No wonder we keep getting more stuff here. Nice. Still level 6. And that's 100 PP. That's fine with us. And screw it. We'll do more naval engines. I said they weren't very good, but I didn't realize. I kind of did, but I didn't really pay attention to it. That uh, They help you repair faster. So that's actually extremely crucial for us. So it's not too bad. Hey, an armor cru cruiser. Whatever it's called. Very nice. Very nice. Keep sinking them. Manchuria is gone. 36. Not bad. No carriers. On the beach. Entente Lend Lease? How about War in Japan? It's no secret that the Japanese have designs in all of East Asia. <clears throat> Ian, even our backyard in the Pacific, so we shall warn them for making further advancements against our potential allies, hopefully containing them in the process. Hopefully we do contain them. Hopefully we do. Goodbye. <laughs> Speed up. Uh, I stopped lagging so much by that much amount. You guys are still only 20 combat with. War in Japan? Nice. Fall of Tokyo, very good. Followed up with Embargo Japan. Despite our earlier policies, Japan can still not be trusted and willing to be weakened via an embargo, specifically on oil. Nice. Followed up with Entente Lend Lease. The Entente battle requires their support and they shall receive it with the arms that we have built. Not a bad idea. Just in case. And we need more steel now. Actually, that's not good. When we run out of steel, you know we got a problem. All right, for uh, limited exports. Thank you. Modern heavy hulls. I love them heavy. Good, good, good. Let's see. I'll let the infantry do that. You guys can move pretty darn fast back down here, and get rid of the, these little Kagoshima and these places. Not bad. Embargo Japan. Cool follow it up with Sphere of Influence. With the Sphere of Influence in the Americas, we can bolster our businesses and with the connections we've gained there and gain further diplomatic power in the process. And the Union of Britain. Oh, we can't do that one because we need to go down this side too. Okay, that's interesting. That we are literally, we literally can't do John of the West because we need to go down this route? We need to go with World Domination. Okay. New World Dominance. So you can't, you, you kind of, oh, I don't like that. We're limited. We're limited. There you go. Now you're a really big old task force. Keep going, guys. You're doing great. What is this? Makeshift bridge? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Is, that. is this a river? I can't tell. It's kind of not a river, but whatever. Ah, uh, Sapporo is now the last bastion of Japanese authority. Besides Korea, but that's quickly falling, too. My clique! My clique is gone! Cool. Are they going to give up now? Give up! We have you surrounded. 
Oh, Russians killed a lot of people. We killed a lot, so the Chinese, and the Chinese, and the Chinese. Alright, and that's it. That's the end of the campaign. I guess pretty much. Just because I don't feel like taking out Central, Central, well, Central America or South America, so. Get all the score we can, and let's buy this up slightly fairly. Russia already got a lot of territory from the European War, so we'll give them some stuff here too, but not a whole bunch. Where is Russia? Did I pass it? I must have passed it. Netherlands. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're near the top. Uh, you can have all of Mongolia. Alright. The Qing Empire should be near the top, right? No, you guys can have legation cities. Um, I want the Philippines. I'll probably take Japan as well. But, let's see, West Indies, Canada, Croatia, Russian Empire, Anqing. Let's see, there's you guys. You know this. This is really disgusting how it's looking right now. And there you go. Alright, and the Empire of Japan's left. Um, here, you guys can have this group. Hmm, actually, maybe not. Maybe we'll give it to Russia. What if I took South Korea? And what if we give Russia North Korea? And we took the rest of the, the Japanese Isles. That wouldn't be bad. Uh, First Republic Vietnam. Where's Vietnam? We can actually give Vietnam to these guys. Vietnam. Shandong. Sichuan. Afghanistan. There it is. Vietnam, you could probably take all this territory. We don't want to deal with it. And... Whose claims on this? Australasia? Ah, uh, you should probably get something out of this, too. Who came up with the flag of Australasian Confederation? I've always kind of wondered that. I'm not saying it's bad or all, because it's not. It's just, I was just kind of wondering. Cool. Cool. Alright, not bad. That's actually not looking great, but not terrible. Oh, well. Uh, Sphere of Influence. We'll do that one first. That's fine. That looks really weird with us. Oh, wait. I thought I was supposed to give this to us. Ah, it doesn't matter to us too much. I don't really care. Doesn't really matter. We're lagging and trying to liberate some people here. Demobilize. Fate of the Philippines. Um, I can have a, uh, that. That's fine with me. And the fate of Japan will be next. And I apologize for the lag. But hey, we're at peacetime right now. Fair to Japan. After a successful campaign in the Japanese Isles, we have now the task of establishing a new local administrative authority in order to restore peace. However, there are several options for choice. Ah, uh, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and do that one. And we can take Peru as well. Look at that. Oh, a little bit of lag. And there we go. Thanks for the rubber, but we'll take this stuff too. Not bad. And who's leading Japan right now? Oh, Hirohito's back. Uh, give the guys a few days to really settle themselves down. Uh, Ching is looking really weird like that, but whatever. Uh, the Vietnamese are not looking too bad. Um, other than that, I do want to get go through the rest of these focuses real quick, just to see what they're like. And uh, the Chinese don't want, still don't like us. It's fine. I don't really care. Uh, Guazhu Federal. Oh, they're just they're just giving us territory. Okay. Well, all right. Maybe they'll figure out what they're going to do next. Fit in Taiwan. Give it to our Chinese allies. Oh, wait, are they our allies? For real? No, they're Chinese United Front. They're not really our allies. Um, we'll do military occupation. We'll figure out what they want to do with that later. Return Australian lands. Yes, that's fine. Our Canadian lands. Don't see that. Join the group. Sure. Support the British. Sure. Why not? We can afford a little bit more, but now it's going to do this. So, focus dot auto complete. Focus dot no checks. Cool. So cancel that, and we'll do this one. On top land lease and bolster the Dominion. The Dominion of India is powerful but lacking in industry and experience. We will send both so they may defend democratic interests there. The Lion and the Eagle. The Lion and the Eagle stands one and stands one, and our economic cabinets will meet to discuss possible investments into munitions we can undertake together. Mediterranean ports. 
The ports of national France must be invested in if they are to take back the rightful nation from Senegal's enemy, Persian influence. The location of oil Persia make it rich in potential and means it must be brought into the on top of the safety of all involved. European recovery program? Europe may have been retaken by its proper government, but still suffers from the fallout of the wars and revolutions that took place there. We must fund our allies with grant and aid programs put together by the general staff and our top political advisors so they may rebuild more smoothly. Followed up with patriotic broadsides. Let the people be reminded that it is not only unpatriotic to be suspicious of heavy foreign intervention, but also quite the opposite. It is what the founding fathers intended. Patriotic broadsides will dampen the support for the open imperialist position and bolster our own. So that's all done. And we can do this stuff here. Political traditionalism. Uh, combat the Minutemen versus political traditionalism. I think someone wanted me to go this route, so the Democratic and Republican parties have served this country for decades. The recent rise of extremist parties have shown us that we cannot tolerate third parties rising up to or challenge our system. We must use our best propaganda efforts to ensure that voters regain confidence in the tr traditional two-party system, American values. The past of promotion of civil government through high-minded publications was undercut sharply by pamphlets and pop private publishers that promoted uncivil government. Congress has decided that a multifaceted approach to instilling American values through mass media will finally undercut pamphlets. Nice. Uh, maintain federal con controls, local industrialism. I think someone wanted want me to do that one as well, but if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. So, local. Many of our social democrats who are sympathetic to syndicalist views have argued that we should implement a system of local industrialism. This would entail higher worker control over the workplace in addition to other reforms, including guaranteed union rights for workers, as long as they belong to the loyal union and fate of the unions. It's time for Congress to hear the testimony of rebellious unions. Some are calling for their just chair, to, chair people to resign, while others insist on collecting transcripts of union meetings, paving the way for prosecuting all active members. Salute the Patriots. That's kind of cool. Loyalist Army. Trial of the Federalists. Um. Hmm. Trial of the Federalists. Loyalist Army. I'll do this one. Trial of the Federalists. MacArthur betrayed the Constitution when he forced his way into power in Washington. We must have said the fate of his followers. Some of our politicians and military officials are begging us to try to rehabilitate, rehabilitate some of these Federalists, and their opponents insist with equal energy that we hang every one of them. Their fate will be decided in the courts, as was the fate of criminals before the Second World War, Second Civil War, really. Malice and uh, Charity? With well, the words of President Lincoln reminding us to bind the nation's wounds, Congress has created a system to reintegrate the rebel states on a massive scale. Through a non-partisan commission or committee called Malice and Charity, districts can be re-added to the Union. The GI Bill. We should reward our veterans for our loyal service to the country and to the Constitution. We are now considering a bill titled the Servicemen's Readjustment Act, which has been more frequently called the GI Bill. This legislation will make sure that our veterans have a roof to live under and food on the table, as well as the possibility to go to school if they so choose to do so. Loyalty to America. Even the early 1930s was the era of loyalty to men over ideals. Haywood, Long, and even MacArthur accrued a sort of a clique of allies that saw their leaders was above the law. Several congressmen had come out to apologize for their statements made during the war. Child Cheers Companies, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. I think I read this one, so there you go. Oil production. The oil fields of the Midwest burned as the country was fighting. We must control these fires, stop future sabotages, and invest in synthetic oil to ensure that more of the country uh, we can make use of the vehicles. Restore legitimacy. The number, the numerous embassies were, we were not able to staff during the crisis have finally re received relief. We shall reestablish ourselves to the world community as a stronger, more unified dip nation with an expanded diplomatic corps and reconstruction over. The years of poor economic management and civil strife have not left our minds, but the most darning effects are diminished. Cool. Oh, and more. President Hurst. Oh, well, we had that because, uh, we shouldn't be able to do this, but that's fine. Um, I only chose that because we could. Uh, uh, no checks. Cool. Awesome, awesome. So everything on the right side is pretty much done. Let's go to pro dam projects. Dams have many purposes in our society. From being a source of power and clean water to control our floods, these marvels of technology will change our society forever. We must do everything we can to promote the construction and invest further in dam technology. Cent decentralized market. I just realized, look at that image. That is a weird elephant with a red hat. But cool. We must implement radical changes to our markets. No longer will the federal government breed down the necks of local and state markets. Instead, local banks will become more prominent in our economy and support a market run by the states. Right to work. If it is bad enough that unions have been allowed to flourish in our society, there is little we can currently do to counteract this. However, what we can do is make sure that no worker feels forced to pay for union representation. Their money will be better spent elsewhere. Scientific taxation. There are many in our country and our, or even our government who argue that we must raise taxes to increase revenue. However, businessman Andrew Mellon has challenged this notion. Instead of arguing that lower taxes would lead to more economic growth, this approach will stimulate our economy and allow us to finally slip from under the shadow of the Great Depression. Support wet laws. Why should we ban alcohol when we can profit off of it? This is not the time to turn away revenue, and our economy would greatly be bolstered by an influx of alcohol profits. Our party will seek to pass new wet laws in our country that allow for this to occur. Surplus aid. 
Not only have we have successfully balanced budget, we now have a surplus. We can use these funds to help those who need it most, our nation's farmers. In doing so, we can smooth things over with farmerly, rebellious farmers and bring them into the fold and support orphans. Every child should be given a chance in our society. Well, maybe most of them. It's unfortunate that there exist people whose parents have abandoned them. By investing in and supporting such individuals, we can raise a generation of productive, responsible citizens rather than dooming thousands to a life of misery and crime. Cool. And there's that one down there. Um... Uh, let's just go through this stuff. If you want to read these, please go right ahead. Uh, these are just kind of generic, so there you go. Uh, that one. I just want to make sure we get through the entire focus street before we're done here, so there you go. Air supremacy. I love supremacy. Freedom fighters. Yes, please. Expand air bases. Expand the wasps. Uh, radar and rule of skies. Yes, please. And protect Columbia. The Army War College, a field uh, artillery school, Fort Benning, and many other major buildings, locations, and training sets have been damaged by the war, and the reconstruction should be one of our top priorities to bring the Army back on its feet now that the Civil War is over. If you want to do about that, please go right ahead. And the, another GI Bill. And new weapons designs. Rebuild military industrial complex. I remember reading all about all this stuff as we won with other different uh, groups here. But our rivals on the East Coast can produce many more tanks than we can. We must invest in anti tank research as to neutralize this disadvantage. Through more advanced anti tank weaponry, McNair believes that we will have the power to annihilate yet another part of the enemy's forces. Followed up with the U.S. Navy. Read about that. Carrier projects, of course. Naval aviation. Light cruiser development. Uh, expand dockyards, battle cruiser development, cool, new admirals, improve the Marine Corps, naval training, uh, let's do naval training, Semper Fi, expand the waves, liberty ships, sub development, maritime industry, and Columbia Gem of the Ocean. Now, is that it for us here? No, it's not still. I'm not seeing other focuses that we can take with uh, autocomplete on. That is weird. There's nothing on the right side here. Uh, did I miss something here? Let's take a look. Anything here? Nope. Anything on the right side? Nope. Anything on the left side? Nope. Um, no, 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 no. No. Well, this is weird. Anything down here at all? Nope. Well then, I guess. We're not going to get that last one done, because I don't know where it is, but I guess it'll be at the campaign. That's all I really want to do for this campaign. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching Wild Look at South America, and have a great rest of your day.